Job requires me to be outside. Super sunny. Wear a big hat to cover my face. Boomer co-workers make fun of me. I hate boomers so much. Just because you age like cream doesn't mean I want to. Be me. Super hot. Can't drink water. Wake up next day. Think I'm peeing blood. Just really dehydrated. Check next day if I have to go to the hospital. Looks kinda green this time. God, laughing as much as possible at me. Just dehydrated and supper made it green. Got me again. Great joke. Finally passed blood of jeopardy. Get clear piss after the third morning. Not bleeding internally. Life's good for now. My hamster just died too. Drunk as fuck. Painstakingly make vest for hamster. String tied to vest. The other end tied to the blade of ceiling fan. Didn't measure string right. Turn on the fan. Hamster slams into the wall at mark speed. So fast, part of the drywall cracked. In my drunk brain, it was supposed to be a carnival ride for him. Good night, sweet prince. There is a man in a cave that is training for the day he has to fight you. He has no running water, no medicine, no gym, and no GF. Someday you will face him in the field of battle, and if you do not train for that day, he will defeat you. While you shitpost on the internet and masturbate the Chinese cartoons and you consume thrice your daily caloric requirement, the man in the cave continues to prepare for the inevitable day of battle. My right ear has been clogged for a week. Nothing I do fixes it. It's been very subtle, but it still affects my balance. Can't listen to music anymore. It's gotten annoying enough to where I can't play games anymore. Can't even focus on productive things because I need background music to do those things effectively. I struggle to talk with people, because I only hear them primarily through one ear. Can't afford a doctor. Watch movie with parents. Father tells his son that he loves him. Look to my dad. Don't get any stupid fucking ideas. Oh, okay. Grandpa is 95 years old. Was in a British tank battalion during World War II. Was stationed in Europe several times during the conflict. Was always a role model for me, and a tough guy to heart. Go to visit him the other day at his beach house. Bought my laptop with girls and panzer on it. Thought he would think it was fun and the old tanks are from his time and now used in popular culture. Tell him I have something to show him. Start with the first episode. He just sits there with a blank expression. Halfway through the episode he asked me to stop. Asked me to leave him alone. He retreats into his study mumbling something like, This is what I'm for. for. Haven't heard from him since. What do I do? I didn't mean to upset him. I really don't want to be unfriendly with my gramps in his last years. I think part of me died while reading this. On Pornhub, Noah Meagle has a porn version. Type Meagle into search bar. Content you search for may contain children in it. Am I on a list now? This image made me relive my most cringe moment of my life. Four years ago in high school. It's my birthday. The day's going smoothly and I'm excited to go home girl that I was friendly with, we talked in between classes and shit but I didn't hang out with her much, comes up to me with a present. Didn't expect it from her so I'd start spilling spaghetti. Happy birthday, Anon! Y you too! Laugh nervously and power walk out of the class like an autist. Get to the school exit and my friends are talking in front of it. People I used to joke I was in love with that girl so I was scared that they would see the present in my hand and start joking. Panic spurg out and throw the present in the trash as I'm leaving. Realized I could have just put it in my bag or something, but now it's too late. Look back as I'm leaving the school. My face when the girl saw me trashing it. Get on my back and speed away while crying. Never talk to her again. I am cheesed to meet you. Their skin starts shrinking, eventually ripping. They scream in agony. I am cheesed to meet you. Their body's transformation begins. Astonishingly slow. They continue to screech in pain. I am cheesed to meet you. Their whiskers sprout, their hair falling out, they howl like a dog. I am cheese to meet you. After an eternity, the conversion is complete. Another cog in the machine. I am cheese to meet you. The spread will never end. I am cheese to meet you. Be a kid in 2000, walking up to a pizza hut with family. Just about to grab the door handle. It flies open. Get out the way! Get out the way! Three dudes in all black run out. Literally carrying bags of money. Larson perks me in the chest with his gun. They pile in a waiting SUV. Dad shoves us the fucking side. I still just want pizza. They want us to stay for witness testimony. Dad says yeah, nah, and we go somewhere else. Barely recognize the gravity of what just happened. To this day, I'm aware that I was a trigger pull away from being killed, but it's never felt like a big deal. And I still love Pizza Hut. Be me. At 
beach, see topless honey, booba dot jpeg. Life is good. Can we have a nice old fashioned trend of weird such cringeworthy shit you did when you were younger? Be me, 15. In school, it's lunchtime, crowds of people about. I'd played Assassin's Creed the night before, and I'd done that thing where you can hold the button to quickly move through crowds. Walk into a group of guys in my year, do the animation of pushing through, put my hand on one of their backs and push gently. Immediately, he turns around. What's this guy's problem? Everyone laughs, quietly walk away with a stern look at my face, just like Assassin. Be me, sit in class. Remember one time in kindergarten, when a girl took a shit on a beach and got in problems for doing so? Find that memory really fucking funny. Burst down laughing. Did you get spits? Ask what's so funny. Sounds stupid. Say that I thought about a mole. Teacher looks at me like I'm retarded. My face when I actually begin thinking about moles now. You remember moles are blind and probably bump into each other all the time. Begin laughing again. Get the tension. Be me, 14. Playing Dead Fortress 2 back in 2013. Little kid opens up his mic. I had to jump with the rocket launcher. Consider making fun of him because I'm an edgy little shit. Someone else does, shouts at him, calling him names. He immediately goes quiet. I feel awful that that could have been me. Decide to add him. He accepts. Tell him that nobody should treat him that way, and if he wants to play with me, I'll help him with everything. Teach him how to rocket jump. He asks tons of questions. I help him out. We eventually get to talking about life. He's nine. His name is Brandon. Months go by. They tell me about how Brandon raves about playing us together. How I'm like a big brother he never got to have. Every day he's excited to get home from school and play TF2 with me. What this me a surprise LAN party for him when we find out we live close together. He calls me his best friend. I feel socially anxious. Never been seen as weird for being friends with a kid. Months later, I start to get tired of him. He's always asking me to play, and I'm getting edgier. I start telling him we'll play later, and that I need to do other stuff. Eventually, I stop bothering to even manually go offline on Steam, just playing after telling him I can't. After a month of ignoring him, he stops asking. He goes offline for good. Years later, I feel guilty and leave a comment on his profile, telling him I miss him and love to play some more. I realized I have to comment on my profile, I never saw, right after I started ignoring him. They said the mean thing to me, I don't want to play TF2 anymore. I wish you would come play again so I'd have fun. My heart sinks. So to check his profile somewhere regularly. He's now been offline for six years. I'm sorry, Brandon. I should have done better. I miss you so much, buddy. I really did have fun with you. I really did. I promise. Be me. Be gay. Have this friend. She told me about traps. Start watching trap porn. Start joking off the trap porn. Suddenly joking off the trap porn only. Start getting hard to fanboys. Getting hard to tits. Start getting hard to girls. Getting hard to the idea of which kind of dick they would have. Can't get hard to regular men like I used to. Can't get hard to the girls unless they have a dick. Help! Traps made me straight, but stopped halfway! Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Mr. Green and check out all of his social medias down below. My name Gora. Uh.